Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not to do this. Oh God, please and God, three no. Of rum and cake first. Please do not do this no at God, home. No God, no. No God. And this is one that we got a couple of days ago and we've been able to keep these guys alive now for three days. Hey guys, while we're here on Mort 9, I thought I'd show you around our campsite. It, it does. Oh, oh god, god, no, no. Oh! Was that a toe that went to the right? <laughs> Something went to the right. There's a chip off the old block, that one. How not to do this? Oh god, please Have god, three no. Of rum and cake first. Please do not do this no at god, home. No god, no. No god, no. Woo! Right in the middle. Uh, Okay. That was the prize. That was good. The middle, okay? Well done. Wood chopper from way back. <laughs> <laughs> Pippies have more use than bait. Uh, our master chef that we have, Wayne. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Good. Satisfied? These are brilliant. Who ever thought you could eat pippies? And actually, I knew. I did know that. My first ever time eating a pippy. So, caught from the beach today. And um, tell me. What have you done with these pippies? What's Just, in there? Uh, sauteed some onion, garlic, thyme, fresh tomatoes, put the pippies in, steamed them with some white wine. Simple as that. Mm. Nice. Magic. And these taste awesome. Very similar to a mussel. So uh, if you like your seafood, I can recommend some pippies a la Wayne over here. From beach to plate. Yeah. Mm. In a couple hours. So fresh. Yeah, cool. Cheers. Cheers to Chef Wayne. Cheers indeed. What do you got? Bloody. Woo! He's a good size. He's a beauty. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> I'm Hello, having Swana. dinner. I'm having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> Good stuff. That's a beauty. That's a I was more focused on getting the pippies out I was missing. A little warning. Yabbies. So they make it. Absolutely awesome bait. We've already been catching, what have we caught? We've caught whiting on them. We've brim. Caught, well, I got a nice brim yesterday. Big flatty. Wayne got dart, so if I mentioned that. Stripies. Uh, <laughs> stripies. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're great bait. So either in the surf or in the creeks and rivers. And uh, all you need is one of these, uh, a yabby pump. They do come in different sizes. This is actually quite a short one. I've got a, a, a longer one and then there's really big ones as well. Yabby pump, uh, you can pick these up pretty cheap. They don't cost too much. And then you're looking for areas like this with these holes all through here.
So those are yabby holes and uh, it's just a matter of jumping in and pulling the lever up as you push down and what you're doing is sucking up the sand down the bottom here. All those holes are connected so uh, when you when you put it over a hole or two it will suck up uh, the surrounding dozen or so holes and pull up any yabbies that are in that area. Anyway, let's give it a go and uh, see if we can get some. So we have first pump. And there we go, we've got a yabby. And this is one that we got a couple of days ago. And by regularly changing the water, so we've continued probably three times a day, four times a day, kept changing our water. And we've been able to keep these guys alive now for three days. So he's got a nice big nipper on him and they will get a hold of you, but they don't hurt too much. So uh, there we go, and they're really good bait. here at the lighthouse on Cape Morn and it's not very often, very rare, that we get the chance to do a video up here. It's usually blowing like anything but it's so still, the water it is so calm out there. I don't know if I've ever seen it like this no. out here off Cape Morn. Absolutely beautiful. The tide's right in. We got a big high tide today. Uh, that'll mean a big low tide this afternoon so we're going to head down the beach fishing but probably not just quite yet because that tide's right up but uh absolutely beautiful down the bottom down the bottom of the cliffs down here there's lots of little bays and bommies and there's always big turtles down there we've seen turtles each day absolutely stunning this is such a magic place Morton Island this side we get these views and when Adele swings around to the other side we've got the top end of the island looking out over Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast. Lots of boats out today because it's so calm. Amazing. Morton Island, we love it, don't we, Del? Sure do. Woohoo! G'day guys, while we're here on Morton Island, I thought I'd show you around our campsite. So we've got a couple of new things this time. I uh, thought we'd just show you around, see how we're set up, 
it's nothing over elaborate. I know a lot of people will have much better campsites set up than what we do. But if there's a few tips or ideas in here that we're doing that might help you, then so be it, and that'll be great too. So let's show you around. First of all, we um, just before we left, we went and bought ourselves a new tent. So we actually grabbed one from Aldi. This is a six-person pop-up Aldi tent, uh, and it's working pretty well for us. Come in, I'll show you around. It's pretty good. It's got space for our queen air mattress that we have, um, and room on either fair amount of room either side for us as well. The only thing is. Our mate's tent that we were borrowing had more room here at the end of the bed. So we had a bit more space here, probably this much more space. And that just allowed us to store more things and maneuver around a little bit better. So it's probably not quite long enough for us. And we took this to Fraser Island just a couple of weeks ago. And that was its first trip. This is its second. Uh, unfortunately, this clip here hasn't released so all we've been able to do is stick a tent peg in here in the hole to keep that standing the other thing was we noticed the mesh up on top here uh, when we opened it up here at Morton Island it had a hole in it so my gut feeling is this is a pop-up tent and the one of these legs probably rubbed against that mesh while um while it was being stored so that's a uh, but that's something new this is our new tent the other thing we've got here and i've talked about it before and that's our king's fridge so on fraser arm we had the fridge in the back of the four wheel drive and that really didn't work because it wasn't getting enough solar in on a regular basis it's running to our solar blanket and what we ended up finding out was the uh the fridge wouldn't turn on unless the solar blanket was generating charge so, but it's inside here and it's working really, really well. We've got battery and battery box outside and our 200 watt uh, portable solar blanket, also from 4 Drive Supercenter, uh, that's there. And that's charging up the fridge and it's working really well, so having no problems there. Let's move, we've got some pippies, we've got some yabbies for some fishing today. Once again, diesel will bring that in these drums I really do like these Scepter. these ones um, they sit low and flat so it's a 20 litre drum but because it sits low and flat it's really stable uh, I like that it also gives me a bit of room to put things on top if I need to uh, in the back here so when we head home I've now oh, these will these normally sit up the front but because they're empty they're down the back but I, I can actually put some things on top if need be because they've got that strong sturdy base at the bottom. This trip, uh, as we had at Fraser on, uh, Wayne is with us and we're going, I'm going to take you around there, show you the setup over on this side and what he's got and let him run through a few of the things that he's got along with him. Let's go and have a look. One of the new things we did bring on this trip has been this ironing board. So it's having multiple purposes uh, we're using it around the camp kitchen as an extra table so Adele's been using it uh, as well for different things including washing up washing the dishes and and so forth and but we mainly use it uh, for filleting our fish so uh, it's going to be getting a workout today because we've got we got a bucket full of fish there from yesterday that need to be need to be filleted so that's the first thing uh, great idea Pick one of these up on Facebook Marketplace for, for free or 10 bucks, something like that. Uh, but they come in really, really handy. What have we got here, Mark? This, uh, this is, uh, I get my water from the Spring Water Man from Mount Tambourine. So I already have my water um, and I didn't want to have excess waste in terms of packaging. So I just bought one of these uh, lithium battery uh, uh, battery operated water pumps um, and has a preset 500 mil spout or it can or it can free flow um, and it just charges by USB um, we've gone through two bottles um, and it's still full of charge 
Um, That's uh, because it charges by USB. So there's a USB port here on this side. And it's really simple to use. You just push the button down. You push it down. Yep. And on top there's lights, which I'll show you as the battery runs down, the blue lights decrease. Yep. So you know how low the battery's getting. So these lights are just sitting around up on top here. On top there like that. So that's been a really cool addition to our camping. Lots of really nice, fresh drinking water. Okay, next one. I'm going to show you is this tub and I'll try and put it up here as well so we can see that now what I like about Wayne's tubs is these seem absolutely perfect for Fraser Island where you do have concerns with dingoes getting into all your gear these are really strong really sturdy and seem to close really well so it's mm. going to take a fair effort and those yep. dingoes are cunning and smart yep. but um, it's not going to be so easy to get into one of these. No, no, it's, about it's uh, the reason I like them is uh, for a couple of reasons. They lock really nice and tight. They've got a seal in them, so water doesn't get inside. And if you do somehow have an accident in the water and they flip in the water, everything stays dry and they just float. You can stand on them, you can sit on them, you can throw them if that's your thing. Um, they're really nice compact size, so I have to limit what I bring everywhere. So it forces me to limit and not carry excess. Um, they also had to slide underneath my roller rack on my car, uh, so everything sits nice and neatly and tight inside. They stack? They stack on top of yeah. each other, yep. You can stack them six, seven high if you wanted to, well, um, but they're really nice and sturdy. And then you keep the um, ants out too? When keeps the ants out, too. keeps everything out, yep. Mm, so this is this brand, Expedition Excellent. 134, is yep. it? Yep, they're, they're Australian made. Uh, they are a little bit on the higher end for plastic tubs. But the durability and long-term use um, will more, more than pay for themselves. Yeah, that, how, how much? Where did you get these from, and how much are they? Uh, what's the camping place over at Brendale? Snowy, tent, tent, uh, tent World. Yeah. Uh, tent World. Uh, I had them, and I think they were one thirty-ish. I think. So yeah. as I said, a little bit on the on the high end, but the versatility of them mm. uh, for me just made sense. Yeah. Sweet. These are, these seem really really cool. So. Uh, we'll have a link for them down in the description below. Uh, and there's it's another one over one. here, so yeah. different colours. So I uses. colour coded, so I have one with my cooking equipment, so I can't take any more than that. One with my dry, uh, my dry food, I can't take any more than that. And I'll have a third one with all my extra bits and pieces like hammers and tent poles and uh, not tent poles, tent pegs and yeah. ropes and mm. the tarp and stuff will fit inside one so it makes me only carry three boxes alone yeah. so i can just pick them up put them in the car and off it's we go very organized isn't it okay excellent okay another thing i thought i would show you is we have two different types of stoves that we're using mm. for cooking and i use the word we very loosely because i don't touch them <laughs> <laughs> um so this is our one this is our camp master and we use the butane gas cylinders. Yep, butane gas cylinders. So we just buy a box of these yep. cylinders, and they quite simply slide. And I'm sure most of you guys know about these and probably use them already, but they simply slot in here and. Uh, they just have the gas and, and work perfectly from there. We find them really handy for us. Um, we like the idea of using them. Those gas cylinders seem to last a fair while. And uh, we've been using this Camp Master for a while now. And it's been yeah. really good, hasn't it? And we can take it in the four wheel drive and take it to the beach like we did yesterday. Yes. And cook, yeah. cook where we are. Yeah. It's really, so really portable. We had we headed right down the other end of Morton Island yesterday, right down the south end, and fished all day down there. Mm. Uh, we took this with us, and Del cooked up pizzas yeah. right there on the beach for lunch for us. So um, we do that on Fraser, and uh, both Fraser and Morton Island. So and it just goes anywhere with you. It's really simple. Wayne, though, you've got a different, slightly different setup. Yep. Uh, what have you got there? So I've got. The Coleman, I forget the type of series it is, um, but the reason I got it, it's actually a Triton series. Mm, yeah, now that matches I, our car. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I, just for its, its simplicity, I don't. If I'm using more than two pans or a pan in the kettle, then I'm actually using too much. So I try and cook really compact. Um, but it takes both butane cylinders oh. and LPG gas. Okay. So um, I've been testing to see how long the gas lasts. It's lasted probably close to nine days now. Um, it's still going. It's it's still going. Because you, you so you use that on Fraser. Use it on Fraser well. for six days, and we've been here for seven now. So mm -hmm. morning and night, cooking on it morning and night. Um, I will though put keep a butane one in the car for backup now. So we had a false start the other night thinking that we'd run out of gas. <laughs> yes, we thought we had run out. But, <laughs> but, so, but, but someone, someone turned, turned it, it off. off. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. Um, I was being efficient. I, I like it because it's just simple. It's really light. Um, and when you use these non-slip mats, it just doesn't slide across the bench yeah. anywhere. I like it too because you've got the wind guard. We found mm. that really helpful at um, Fraser because yeah. the wind was coming from the ocean right through. Yeah. Again, Coleman and some of those brands now have them without the wind guards and the wind guards go into the mechani flame mechanism inside. All right. um, but you're probably paying extra 75, 150 for those. Okay. Mm. So, works well, Coleman. Yeah. Two different type of camping stoves that we use. Uh, you got that at Tent World too? Uh, I got that at Coleman? Tent World, yeah. yeah. I bought the bag as well because it fits my cutting board. So again, it's compact, compact. everything's tied up. Uh, things like that go sliding yep. everywhere. Yep, and uh, it all slips in there nicely. Mm. So again, we'll have a link to those in the description below. And uh, if you're interested in either one of those, you can check them out on the website. Okay, so fire pit, it's been well used over the course of this trip. Uh, what brand is it? So I actually got this from a metal worker who was just selling them on, on Facebook, ha having had a look at quite a few of them. Um, the thing I liked about this one is it was a little bit longer. Um, it has airflow, so it's laser cut on the yeah. sides to get good airflow. And it's a five piece, so the, the base of it is actually my now pippies. Mm -hmm. the, the base it doesn't meet at a direct angle at the base there's actually a, a flatter section Flat, yeah. which gives you more space uh, to load up with firewood um, comes apart I've got a bag for it slips into the bag and we're ready to go yeah so uh, a few episodes ago uh, we showed off our King's fire pit and certainly this is longer and as Wayne explained it has that flat piece down the bottom and you've got uh, ventilation through on each side so there's some good benefits to that yep. one and it's got a grill with, 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 la with laser cut so it just sits like that it's got a had a bit of rain on it but yeah we've had a bit of rain as we've said and, and it's yep. gone a little bit rusty but that sits but. like that so you can still have a fire going your charcoals underneath so if you're out sitting out for a long night yeah you can restoke it you can, re you can restoke it mm. yep keep we, your coals going we've given it a really good workout yep, here at Morton yep. haven't we yep, and it's good uh, it's been fantastic I should really do like that one. Uh, how much did you pay for it? I think I paid like 105, 110, something around Somewhere that. Yeah. Just so over little, $100. Yeah, just over That's a good price. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're all done. Beautiful. We've seen around yeah, the campsite. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing and also have a swim. She, yeah. It's gotten quite muggy now that the sun's come out. We've got our pegless clothesline. Oh yeah, here of too. course. Um, slide and dry. Pegless clothesline. These are really are so cool. Um, I'm sure we've shown, I know we've shown these to you before, but they are super cool and it goes with us in the motorhome everywhere we go, but um, we bring it camping with us as well, over yeah. to Fraser here at Morton Island, and it's so simple I'm going to use Wayne's shorts to show you, even I can do this, so it's so simple you just push it in and slide it, and that's why it's called slide and dry, once again, push that in, Slide it across. No pegs. No pegs. So easy to set up. And Nothing going to... rusting. No pegs to break. Mm. Um, it's just the simplest thing. Hook it up at each, at each end. It comes with two this bungees. little. Yes, two bungees. Yeah. One for each end. It's so simple. So easy to use. Uh, once again, we'll put the link down the bottom. But we love our yeah. slide and dry pegless clothesline don't I, we it's... yeah i had it wrapped around the trees and um because of the rain i brought it in underneath here and it's been perfect just yeah. move it to where you want to yeah and set it up anywhere it's brilliant very good so we'll put a link in down the bottom for it as well
Ja. Well, I've been doing some filleting and uh, I just showed this fella what's coming. Watch what happens when I throw this out. What a beautiful bird. He goes way up there into the trees. Way, way up. He's still flying. There he lands. And from that distance, I was down here and I just held that fish up to show it there was one coming. And he saw it from that far away. And down he came and swooped. Beautiful bats. I've thrown it up on the beach out of the water this time. All right, he's coming back now. He's going to have to fight the seagulls. He went all the way up there in the trees. And now he's on his way back. Those seagulls knew. They got out the way. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. 